Hundreds of endangered seahorses have been released into the wild in Australian waters. It's part of a new project to regenerate the population after major floods in New South Wales devastated the endemic species. Wrapping its strong tail around the seagrass, this white seahorse clings on for life. They're found in shallow waters around the New South Wales coastline, including Sydney Harbour. The population has been declining over the last decade, in part due to habitat loss. It's climate change, it's pollution. Um, unfortunately, these guys are quite sensitive um, and they're being battered with a number of issues right now. Over the last couple of years, extreme rainfall and flooding has delivered a fresh and devastating blow. Numbers have dropped by more than 90%. Big storm events, lots of fresh water into our estuaries uh, cause the loss of um, our marine habitats. The sea grasses, the sponges and the corals where the seahorses live, they died off because of the fresh water from the floods. At Sydney Sea Life Aquarium, behind the public display, the tiny creatures are being offered a new lease on life. Hundreds of babies bred in captivity are destined for a lease in the wild. 300 graduates of the breeding program were released into shallow waters near Port Stephens, north of Sydney, last week. It's hoped many more will follow. These little guys right here are around 10 weeks old, so they've still got a little bit of growing to do, but in another month's time, they'll be ready for their new home in something called a seahorse hotel. These steel structures provide vital protection as the babies make their way in the world. When we release them onto these habitats, we're finding that they like to stay there. They've got like a, a good group of um, mates that they can hang out with. The habitats provide food and camouflage for them. Long term, the goal is to recover the natural habitats that have been lost. In the meantime, these artificial homes offer their best hope for survival. Rhiannon Elston, Sky News Weather.